Hi, I'm going to make a model of uh, a natural gas fired domestic boiler. And um, I'll start out with putting in some values here. Um, I'm going to put in some uh, nitrogen. Nitrogen was there. And methane. And oxygen. And uh, carbon dioxide. We got it there. And uh, water. I think that's it. And um, we're going to use a Ping Robinson as property package and as steam tables. Yes. And I'll be using the C5 where we are using uh, Celsius kilo per hour, cubic meter per hour, and so on uh, as our system units. So um, I'm going to define some reactions here. It's the combustion reaction. And um, we have the methane. We're going to include the methane. Nitrogen is inert. We have oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water. And we have as a base component methane. So we're going to use one methane and some uh, oxygen. Uh, we're getting CO2. We're going to have. Uh, one CO2 and two water. And we can see we are getting a balanced equation here. Um, and we are going to have 100% conversion. So we can start with two material streams. One is for methane, and one is for combustion air. So, in the methane stream, we are going to have um, one in mole fraction. And in the combustion air, we're going to have um, nitrogen about 0 0.8 and oxygen 0 0.2. Yes. And we're going to um, fire, or we're going to uh, put it into. Uh, or mix it. So a mixer. Oh, we have combustion air. Yes, that's it. No, oh, almost. No. Um, we are going to have um, a. A reactor. We have a conversion reactor here. We have an outlet and energy output. If we are going to use the adiabatic or the isothermic uh, 
calculation mode but okay I'm going for the adiabatic because I want the temperature here let's see what's happening huh something um, ah I think I forgot to set this to a vapor let's see if something happens there yes good so um, just to see if we're going to have a under uh, isothermic we can get an uh, energy output here that is about uh, two three thousand kilowatt that's a lot um, and I'm only making a model for an, uh, a little domestic home boiler and of course I've been cheating a little bit so I know this value is going to zero zero point eight and we are going to have about a factor 11 for combustion air um, that is 0 0.88 in. okay so we have an output of energy about 19 kilowatts so We can name this okay we can start name this the mixer and this is the combustion fuel we have our boiler here and we have an exhaust here and um, okay it was uh, isothermic we're going to make it adiabatic yes so with the exhaust we're going to extract a lot of energy um, so we're going to have a uh, heat exchanger we have it here here we have the heat exchanger um, we have uh, we're going to break that one and introduce twelve is fresh water and fourteen is heated water. And 13 is this cooled exhaust. So let's see how it's uh, going. That was uh, we have a counter current. We have um, I think we're going to cold fluid, hot fluid, cold fluid. Um, about 200 degrees. No, that didn't went well. It was uh, cold fluid. So that's better. Yes, 200 degrees. Um, we are going have to 3600 kilos per hour that's a lot to fill my top um, 400 kilos per hour so and that gives an outlet temperature of about 48 degrees uh, nice 
till 48, 25. If I'm getting my fresh water, it's usually about 12 degrees. So, um, good. So that's, I'm heating 12 degrees Celsius to 44 degrees Celsius. Good. Um, I can uh, heat my um, combustion air, combustion air, with the rest of the energy in the cooled exhaust. It is about 200 degrees. So I'll introduce uh, another heat exchanger here. Um, I'm having it here. It's the heated water we are going to extract here. Ah, there was something. We are going to use fresh water, but was our property package is Ping Robinson. But we're dealing with steam tables here because it's water or was it uh -huh. oh have a look here we're going to clear it all and say we have one water here mm, yeah And we're going to use the steam tables here. Okay. So we gain three degrees here by using uh, another uh, property package. Okay. Um, we're going to introduce. Uh, a new material stream and that is our combustion air again and um, it has a compound about 0 0.8 and 0 0.2 we are going to accept it here and some magic happens here. It will cool our uh, exhaust air to down to about 50 degrees. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, we have some st stream conditions here that is saying 0 0.88. So we are going to have about 200 degrees, 57 degrees in outlet. We're going to recycle this stream into the combustion air. And we can call this one um, preheated combustion air. And we're going to use a log logical block and um, we're using the recycle block here um, we're going to unlink both of them both of them there was this one and we can say as inlet stream we're going to use the preheated combustion air and um, I'm going to name this so I can see the difference from this one to this one. And we are going to put it in as combustion air. Okay. Let's see if it will solve the system. It has solved it. Um, now I would expect that the combustion fuel is not 25 degrees Celsius, but a lot 
higher. It's 185 or 81. Excuse me. And uh, we can see we have um, a heat load of 1.26 kilowatts, and uh, from the uh, water uh, exchanger we have a 17.64. Okay, so it's um, the extra uh, heating of uh, of the comp. Bastion air is uh, we're gaining about seven eight percent extra in uh, fuel efficiency. So um, that was uh, a quick, nice little demonstration of uh, uh, mass and energy balance of uh, domestic um, gas boiler. Thank you for stopping by.